This is Brendan Ambedejo. I'm here with Lofa Tatupu, the future middle linebacker of the NFL. So how many years is this in the league and how many Pro Bowls have you made so far? This is, uh, this is my third year in the league and I've been fortunate enough to be in this is my third Pro Bowl. Wow, so you're three for three. Uh, no, no, no. I got to thank your boy Erlach. Like, he stepped down one time my rookie year, so I was able to come. So, so I mean, really, you play about four seasons. You got preseason, you got the regular season, then you got playoffs, and then you got Pro Bowl. Well, then I step into your world and I play some special teams, man. And I mean, you know, I just clear up the blocks and he goes down and makes the play. So it's all good. I like that. I like that. So anyways, um, you're a kid. You went to uh, you went to University of Maine first mm -hmm. and you transferred to USC. What was the difference between going from high school to Maine and then Maine to USC? What was the transition there? The speed and then the athleticism. I mean, when you went from, from 1AA to Division One, you saw guys that were 330 pounds or athletes. Uh, and then, you know, you, you get off the off the football field, you step on the basketball court, and they, they, can, they can hoop it up too. So uh, just athletes at all positions. And, uh, I mean, you know, but it was a great experience and, you know, one that I'd never trade. Do you think it was a tougher transition to go from Maine to SC or from SC to the league? Oh, no doubt SC to the league, man. I mean, just, just – uh, Guys that can play every position up here, and uh, you know, and, and that will, man. Whatever it takes to get on the field, you see that on every team. And uh, but uh, I mean, it, it's 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 unreal, man. I you know, nothing I'd rather do. So you're a guy, you're a Polynesian, you're a Samoan guy, right? And um, so how does it feel to play in Hawaii? The cultures are similar. You guys are all Pacific Islander, and just the culture link with you and Hawaii and the culture. It's an honor, you know, and uh, just trying to represent as best I can. And uh, for the Samoans, and uh, there's a few of us over here. You know, Troy, you know, he's usually over here. Uh, he stepped out this year. But, uh, you know, my, my dad's still the man over here, so I'm, I'm trying to get out of that shadow. And uh, once I can, I'll be all right. All right, so you got any haka? You know any haka moves? Uh, I don't got that. I don't got that, but my, a couple of my boys, they, they got that down, and so I'm, I'm going to get them to teach me. And then that flint, you know, the fire, the fire. The fire, okay. Try to get that and down, then, And then lastly, just tell us a little bit about about the culture with the tattoos in, in um, Samoan society and whatnot. This, this is a little, you know, tribal design, if you want to get a look at that. And then on the back, that's from my parents' wedding, you know, trying, trying to honor them and uh, – just, uh, you know, without them, I wouldn't be here, so, you know. And what's the traditional way they do the tattoos different than most people? They, they, they do the tap, but, you know, I, I, I'm i not doing that tap. That, you know, I look, like, too painful, so uh, I'm going to stay with the, uh, the needle. All right, thanks, Lofa. All right, baby.